Hi guys, it's Jessica Hayes. Today I have filmed for you a completely cruelty-free drugstore makeup tutorial. I know a lot of the times I do mostly concentrate on using indie and higher-end brands, so I thought it would be great to do a completely drugstore cheap and affordable makeup tutorial. So if you would like to learn how to do this fally, wintry, drugstore and cruelty free makeup, keep watching and I will teach you how. So I'm gonna be starting off with a little bit of this NYX uh, full coverage concealer around the eye area. This will be my first time using this concealer as well. It was one that was recommended by you guys. My last video where I did a uh, cruelty free foundation tutorial and I was kind of saying that I was after a full coverage concealer that was in a pot. So I'm going to take my uh, damp beauty blender. This is the cosmetics beauty blender and I will be testing out for the first time the NYX BB cream. This is the color nude. So far that's a nice sheer dewy coverage. I'll still do a little spot concealing, but I do like the amount of coverage this is giving. This too is the uh, Furless Concealer brush. I like it because pretty much it's just the same shape as your finger. So I'm just dabbing that full coverage concealer over any little friends that I have. I actually, I'm enjoying this color for on my face, but probably need something a little more brightening around the eye area. But for a blemish cover up, this is actually a perfect color for me. Just gonna go ahead and lightly set the face with a little bit of the NYX HD powder that I always use. For the eyes, I'm gonna pop a little bit of the NYX HD eye primer down. And just lightly pat that all over the lid. For the eyes, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Fergie Collection eyeshadow palette. And just a disclaimer as well, I have nothing against Wet n Wild uh, in the Kat Von D video. If you guys have seen it, I just meant my mom's lipstick was more of a, an affordable price range, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to start off with using a little bit of this shadow right here through the crease of the eye with this Morphe 513 brush. Next I'm going to take this dark brown in this Smith 247 brush. Just pop that in the outer crease of the eye. I'm going to go back in with that big fluffy Morphe brush and dust that orangey shade through the crease again just to make sure that that dark color blends. Next I'm going to grab that dark orange shade with this Morphe 503 brush and just add a little more warmth where the darker color meets that transition color. For underneath the eyes, I'm going to use this NYX Trey Jolie uh, Gel Eyeliner Pencil for the inner waterline. And I'm really getting it in there and also just along the bed of the lashes as well. I'm gonna take this Smith 220 brush and just buff that into the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take NARS number 12 brush and that orange color from the palette and really diffuse that lower lash line. For the lid of the eye, I'm just going to use a little bit of this Crown Chubby Pencil in Sahara Gold and just pop that right in the center here. I'm not going to worry about blending that in too much because I'm just going to pop a little bit of this kind of taupey satin color right over the top of that. I don't really think that I'm going to do much of an eyeliner 
So I'll just do like a little bit just along the lash line. This is the Crown Ultra Skinny Liner. I'm just gonna go over that line just a little bit with this big smith brush and then a little bit of that darker shadow that we're using. Now that the eyes are done, I'm just gonna finish off with a little bit of the NYX Doll Eye Mascara. For the cheeks to contour, I'm just gonna use a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of the NYX Taupe Blush. For the apples, the Milani Luminoso Blush. I love this blush. I'm gonna use a little bit of this color from the Crown Blush Bronze Illuminate Palette as a highlight. I'm going to use this NYX Cola Liner. And then over the top of that NYX Liquid Suede in Vintage. And then I'm just gonna pop a little bit of Soft Spoken right in the center. A little 3D effect. Well that guys is my drugstore haul wintery folly tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see maybe some more all drugstore uh, makeup look. Thank you as well for the suggestions last week on my foundation tutorial video because I do really like this NYX full coverage concealer. Maybe not so much for around my eye area but it is great for blemishes so this is a great dupe for a cruelty free version of my MAC Studio Fix so thank you thank you for sharing that with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this and have a great week. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.